Welcome to another GPU pass-through guide. This one is for Ubuntu and hopefully it will be an improved and simplified version of the previous one. Let's update our Ubuntu installation. To get started, make sure your virtualization extensions are enabled in BIOS, VT-D and VT-X for Intel, or uh, IOMMU and SVM for AMD. The names might differ depending on your ma motherboard manufacturer. To get started, let's download the script we'll need. I will leave the link in the video description. We'll go to clone or download and just download the zip file. So it should be in my downloads and I will unzip it or extract it right here. I'll also restart just to make sure everything is ready. Now we are back after the restart and for those of you who have not updated your system, please do it now and after the update restart your machine. Okay, so let's go to the terminal and to our script. Let's become a super user. And let's go to the download folder. So it's in home, your username, downloads. And uh, let's see what's in it. We have three files in there and we need to make two of them executable. So chmod plus x, gpu passthrough.sh and vfio override. Okay, now that that's uh, those two are executable. Let's run the GPU pass-through. .sh. Enter. It will download some things, so we just have to confirm it. And now it will install them. Now we'll have to edit grub. So the line ending in quiet and splash. We'll add these two items. If you are on Intel, write Intel underscore IO MMU equals on. If you are on AMD, it will be AMD IO MMU equals on. Next, we'll type in KVM dot ignore underscore msrs equals one. And that should be enough for now. We save it. First, write, control O, enter, and control X to exit. It will continue the installation, update the initramfs for us, update the grub for us, and then we'll have to restart. Okay, now that this is done, let's restart. Okay, now that we are back again, let's double check everything. Go to our terminal, sudo dash i, and uh, lspci dash p to see our GPU to make sure it's working. So here is our NVIDIA GPU we'll be passing to our virtual machine. And we can see VFIO-PCI, VFIO-PCI is the kernel driver in use. Now let's get our virtual machine started. So we'll run virtual machine manager, create a new one from local installation media. I downloaded an ISO image from Microsoft. So it should be under downloads. Windows 10, that's what I'll be using. Let's do four CPU cores and eight gigs of RAM. Let's make it 50 gigabytes. And let's customize it. Okay, so we'll be using UEFI and Q35. Let's 
four CPU cores, eight gigs of memory, we'll boot from the CD-ROM, we'll force that. For now, instead of ID drive, we'll be using SATA and the SATA for the CD-ROM. We'll remove the unnecessary stuff, tablet, display spice, because we want to use the GPU, the dedicated GPU, so sound, console, basically all of these. And the USB redirectors. And we'll add our GPU, so 980 NVIDIA for me, whatever you are using on the PCI host devices. It has to be the one that has the VFIO driver. And now the audio portion of the same GPU, and now let's add a mouse and a keyboard. I will do it from the USB devices and I'll do the Logitech Unifying Receiver. Okay, and now begin installation. Okay, so now let's install Windows. Now that the installation has finished, let's shut it down. And let's go to the settings right here and make the default boot device the SATA disk, apply, and now we can edit Versh. You only need to edit Versh if you are using a GeForce GPU, if you are using an AMD, or if you are using a Quadro, you should be fine. So to get started with that, let's go to this website. Uh, Arch Linux wiki for GPU pass-through and let's find the section for error 43 and we'll add this to our uh, verse. So to get started verse edit Windows 10, so that's the name of my uh, virtual machine. You can see it right here, Win 10. And we'll be using Nano. Okay, so let's scroll down to Features and Hyper-V. And uh, under Hyper-V, we add vendor underscore ID state equals on. And value equals, and it has to be 12 uh, digits or letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 0 AB and then we will have to add this KVM hidden state equals on and uh, end it with slash kvm and now we just need to save it so control o enter and control x to exit 
Okay, so that should be that for editing Versh. Now let's start our virtual machine again. Okay, so this is an interesting color scheme. Let's see what happens when we try to restart the machine. Okay, that looks much better. And uh, let's see whether our NVIDIA drivers are installed. Seems like that's working. We, we are not getting the error 43 that we would normally get if we didn't edit Versh. So that's good. And uh, yeah, that should be it for uh, GPU pass through this updated guide. Hopefully it's helpful and I'll see you in the next video.